Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is a Pat McGrath haul. I have been collecting a whole bunch of stuff going way back to her apparel launch. So I've got some clothing from her. I have the Decadence eyeshadow palette, which I love, and I have some of the new matte trans lipsticks. So if you're interested in seeing these things, kind of hearing my thoughts and watching me do a demo of this eye look with the new Decadence palette, then just keep on watching. All right, so let's start with the apparel because this I've been kind of holding on to for a very long time. So Pat McGrath, I think last November, came out with some apparel. She released a bomber jacket, a hoodie, a long sleeve tee, and I think a short sleeve tee. So I got everything but the short sleeve tee. Um, I got the long sleeve, the hoodie, and the uh, bomber jacket. So I'm going to see if I can try and hold these things up so that you can see them kind of properly. If not, I'm going to put them on my dress form and you're going to see kind of cutaways. Let's start with the long sleeve tee. So I just like long sleeve tees. It's something that I just love to wear like under sweaters or, you know, to layer. So I got large for all of these pieces. Um, they're unisex sizing, so they're pretty big, but I like my clothing really big. So um, here is the long sleeve tee. It has like that Egyptian eye and then it has the 01 to the 06, which is like where she is with her uh, lab kits. And it has some writing up the right sleeve. It says Pat McGrath Labs. And then here is the back of the t-shirt, which is so cool. This is like a really cool kind of like golden um, like a decal. And then here is the tag on the inside. It's actually like, feels like a canvas and it's just been kind of tacked down here. So that's really cool. It's got her kind of like old school typewriter font on there. So uh, very Pat McGrath. I really like this long CT. I think it's really, really nice. Um, in terms of quality, it's just a nice kind of thick t-shirt quality. And then here is the hoodie. I love this hoodie, mainly because it's very nostalgic for me. This hoodie reminds me of like when I was in high school, if you were on a sports team, like the hoodie that you would get. It's like that old school champion cotton sweatshirt. It's kind of dry. It's really, really heavy. Um, but it wears super, super well. Like this is the kind of cotton that would last through like an apocalypse. So here is what the front looks like. And the only difference is that this, um, the eye logo here, it's like this material and it's actually kind of puffy. Can you guys see that? So that is super cool. The t-shirt the does not have that, but the sweatshirt has that. And then the same thing for the back. So it has the same graphics as the back, but the eye is very, very cool because it has that kind of fabric, this like foil fabric, and it's a bit uh, puffy. So super duper cool. This is very high quality, I think. It is um, incredibly warm, so warm that I haven't really been able to wear it too much here in Vegas. I should let you know, because I know some people don't like this, the bottom like waistband of the sweatshirt is very cinched. So it's like super like early 90s style where it's like cinched at the waist and then kind of like just balloons out. It's not like the sweatshirts you buy these days where it's just sort of like loose, like all the way through. So for me, I love it. Again, it's like very nostalgic for me, um, the silhouette and the material. And then I had to pick up the bomber. So I went to, <laughs> I keep saying it like, oh, this is so nostalgic for me or whatever. But just to give you some background, I am, well, as you guys know, I'm 44 years old. So I went to NYU and I graduated in 1995. And so I was there from 91 to 95. There was a very specific sort of fashion movement going on at that point and the bomber slash uh, flight jacket was like the thing. Everyone had one. It had like the fluorescent orange on the inside. It was either like olive green, like army green or black on the outside. And there was a store in New York that's no longer there. It's called Antique Boutique. And they would have, they had like walls full of it. It was these flight jackets and like like old school navy pea coats, the ones with the anchor buttons, they weighed like a thousand pounds, they were impenetrable. And anyway, I just never got one back then. It was like, you know, I didn't have any money, but it was the flight jacket, docks, that was like everyone's uniform. So I never got one. So when these came out, I was like, I'm gonna get one. It's it's time, like, you know, 20, like 25 years later. So here's the flight jacket. Again, it has the same markings. It has like the eye, but the eye on this bomber jacket is like a patch. So here's the eye on this. It's like 
it really is it's like a it's actually embroidered same with the big eye on the back and like I had just mentioned so the old school flight jackets always had like fluorescent orange on the inside so Miss Pat decided of course to put gold on the inside so I just I just love this jacket I haven't really worn it the other thing too is that they're not the most flattering jackets they're very they're meant to be super super puffy um, and big and um, and again I got large so this is definitely way too big for me but I just love it I love it so much I wear it every once in a while <laughs> I wear it every once in a while it's super conspicuous I feel like I'm in like a gang when I wear it because people are always like like reading the back like what is she a part of I'm so happy that I got this bomber jacket it's like I get to relive my youth for just a moment every time I every time I admire it or put it on. So I'm loving, um, I'm loving the flight jacket. And it's got like typical flight jacket um, stuff. It's got the pocket on the um, outside here. It has a pocket on the inside here as well. So. Let's talk about uh, the lip balm. So I also picked up the uh, lip balm and it comes in this white case and it came in this uh, Pat McGrath box. Here is the um, picture on the box really cool you know I was kind of on the fence about whether or not I wanted to purchase this because I thought it's just a lip balm and I have so many lip balms like I have so many lip balms so many so I was like I don't really need another one but of course you know she puts it in this white packaging I love this packaging with the gold lips and I thought well why not I guess I could always use lip balm I do have a lot but I do use it a lot so I ordered it and um, I've been using it kind of on and off with my other lip balm to kind of compare and contrast and I definitely I have some lip balms that I find that are like very protective you know they just sort of sit on top of my lips and those are great if you're gonna be outside all day I feel like um, you're not actually gonna put on any lip product other than that and I like those lip balms especially when I lived in New York it's just I would slap it on I go out all day and I wouldn't feel like my lips were affected by the the weather and then there's some lip balms that are just like really thin they absorb quickly there's not much to them I like this lip balm because I find that it's very very moisturizing on the spot so this I've been using to prep my lips as I'm doing my makeup and then my lips are ready for lipstick so I actually talk about it a little bit more when I demo the lipsticks that I purchased so I won't ramble too much about it at this moment but I really like this to prep my lips so I'll put this on after I've like cleansed and moisturized my face I'll throw this on and then I'll put on my makeup and then my lips are ready to go when I'm ready for my lipstick so I have been really really liking the lip balm it really it does not hurt that it's in this uh, case. So. I purchased uh, another Lux Trans lipstick. So it's not a new color, it's new to me. It's actually what I'm wearing and it's called Lust Angeles. I have not been able to get this on the Sephora site. So when I went and bought the apparel, I went and just purchased it off the Pat McGrath site while I was there and I just love it. In my best of 2017, I mentioned how I love mixing the Donatella and the Madame Grige lipsticks basically what I was trying to get was this color is this Los Angeles color so that's what it looks like again it's what I have on my lips and that's what the color looks like it's just a really cool toned beigey nude so I purchased that and then I purchased two of the new matte trance lipsticks I got Femba and I got Divine Brown I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Divine Brown first because when we get to Femba I want to compare it to some of the uh, original matte trans lipsticks that came out so here is divine brown that is what divine brown looks like it is exactly what it looks like in the bullet it's just like a straight up warm brown i love it very nostalgic for me very grunge very early 90s so love that color so here is the fembot color now i'm gonna go ahead and swatch that right here and a lot of people ask me like gosh that looks really similar to either Omi or 1995 or Flesh 3 so I figured well let's go ahead and compare so here is Femba I have Flesh 3 here Flesh 3 is a bit darker um, actually I'm gonna go I'm gonna go down so we can compare all of them so there is Flesh 3 it's darker and it's a bit warmer than Femba here is Omi closer to Femba but it's still deeper and then here is 1995 which I think is very very close so there's 1995 so I feel like 1995 is um, warmer than Fembot I feel like all of these actually are warmer than Fembot Fembot is a little bit cooler and lighter than the three of these I hope it's coming across 
on camera. I think there is a difference, but I think that they are very, very close and that you don't necessarily need all of them. <laughs> so let's talk about the Decadence eyeshadow palette. This palette is gorgeous. It is so, so beautiful. So it is um, in the exact same packaging as the other Mothership palettes. The image on the box, the outer packaging is different. Obviously it has this like amazing bejeweled crown on there but the actual like component of the eyeshadow palette is the same as the other three so there's actually no labeling on the outside of these as to which palette it is so i've been keeping them in these um, cardboard boxes so that i can distinguish between now the four of them so here is what the palette looks like all the shades in here are a um, metallic um, foiled type eyeshadow. They're really, really stunning, and I'm gonna let them speak for themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them. I'll do the top row and then the bottom row for you. Here is Gold Standard, Inferno, and Blue Blood. So Gold Standard, Inferno, and Blue Blood. And then next we have Sinful, Underworld, and Sterling. And then next we have Lapis Luxury, Divine Mink, Hedonistic, and Enigma. So here are all the shades up close. I absolutely love these shadows. It's what I have on my eyes today. If you stay tuned, I'm gonna do a demo of this eye look. I'm also gonna do um, lip swatches of the three new colors that I got, the two matte trans and that Los Angeles. I love these shadows. I feel like with other shadows that I've used, unless I wet them, I don't get this sort of impact. And these I used without wetting my brush at all. These are all dry and the foil metallic effect that you get from them is beautiful. And every single shade in this palette is a winner. There are no duds, as you can see. They're all absolutely beautiful. They perform wonderfully. There is some fallout for sure. So you'll see in my demo that I put some like loose powder down to catch any of the fallout. And it's not a lot, but there will be some, especially with, I find with Sterling, which is like the silvery color. I'll find um, a little bit of fallout, especially if I use it on my inner corner, it, I'll see it kind of down here. But other than that, it's not super powdery, so it's not like this outrageous amount of fallout. It's just a really, really stunningly beautiful palette. I guess the only downside to it, which I'm not even sure is a downside or you know, even a valid criticism because it's obvious, there are no matte shades in here. So if you're looking for like an all-in-one complete, all you need palette, this probably is not the one for you. So you'll see in my demo that I went ahead and used the subliminal palette along with this one and it just works great. I just needed two extra colors in there just to kind of like, I don't know, I feel like sometimes I need uh, to lay down some color just to get me going, um, just to see like where I want to lay color down and like what I feel like doing that day. Um, but you'll notice that I pretty much like covered up <laughs> all of my matte shades uh, with these metallic shades in here. So if you're interested in watching my demo with this eye look and then my lip swatches, then just keep on watching. So I'm gonna start with the Sublime palette and I'm gonna go into this shade right up here. I'm gonna use a blending brush and just lightly dust that all over my lids. And using the same brush, I'm gonna go into the color right next door here. It's a little bit darker, still matte and I'm going to deepen up the outer V area of my eye and also a little bit of my crease here. So I'm gonna dig into the Decadence palette now and I'm gonna start with the Enigma shade, which is this one all the way over on the bottom right hand corner. And I'm gonna use my Chikahoto GSN 9 brush and I'm gonna lay that down in the middle of my lid.
Next I'm going to take my Sonia G Builder 1 brush and I'm going to go into uh, this silvery shade over in the bottom left hand corner and I'm going to place that on the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to go back in with my GSN 9 brush and I'm going to pick up this darker taupey shade here and I'm going to focus that on the outer corners of my eyes. I just turned the light down a little bit so you guys can really see the foiled effect of these shadows. Now I'm going to take my Surat um, Smoky Eye Brush. I think this is the medium size. And I'm going to dip it right into Blue Blood, which is this color right up here. I'm going to roll it around in there so that I'm loading up the side of the brush. And I'm just going to sweep that across my colors here just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. I'm gonna wipe away this loose powder that I put down to kind of catch any fallout, and then I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes. I'm gonna take my Sonia G um, Pencil 1 brush, and I'm gonna go into Underworld, which is this um, really rich, dark blue color over here. All right, so that's it for my eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of finish up my look, and when I get to the lips, I'll come back and we'll play around with the new lipsticks that I purchased from Pat McGrath. So I've prepped my lips with the Pat McGrath Lip Balm. It's very, very nice. It doesn't feel too thick on the lips, so it actually kind of like absorbs into your lips fairly quickly and moisturizes them really, really nicely. So this is something I've been using to kind of like prep my lips when I'm doing my makeup. So I'll put this on at the beginning, and then by the end, I don't feel like there's much to wipe away. It feels pretty much absorbed. So that's really, really nice. I have a lot of lip balms that are just too thick. You know, they don't absorb in time. I feel like I'm wiping most of it off. I don't feel like it's done enough for my lips quickly you know they're probably more like protective balms but this one is a really nice one to like prep your lips so i've been enjoying this so let's go in with uh, some of these new matte trance uh, lipsticks that i got so i got fembot and divine brown let's start with fembot which is lighter so there is fembot it's a very mid-tone pink it's not too warm it's not too cool um this formula, it's an amazing formula. This is like really the only matte lipstick I feel like I can wear. It's so creamy and it's uh, so comfortable on the lips, yet there's a matte finish. All right, let's try Divine Brown. This is what Divine Brown looks like. And there is Divine Brown. Super dark, super rich chocolate brown. I really, really love it. Again, it's really comfortable. So I almost forgot, I have the Lust Angeles Luxe Trans Lipstick. This is not a new color or anything, it's just new to me, but it's like one of my favorite new colors. Here it is, it's just like a rock solid nude. All right, there is Lust Angeles. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please comment down below with any questions, comments, thoughts, anything. I will try to answer any questions that you may have for me. And don't forget to subscribe down below. We are slowly creeping up to 10K and I am ready to do my giveaway. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.